gonna get on writing for my class. Today we are going to have written comprehension. So before I plan my class and everything else, I need to read to put everything in easy words so my students can understand better. In order to put herself through university online, Nazareth is a primary school teacher in a bilingual school. In 2022, Nazareth graduated a part of cohort 11. Our exciting itinerary today takes us to the city of Tocoa, Colón, in the northwest of Honduras. At this point in our trip, we've found out what some of our graduates are up to. We've been able to see how they are developing and how they've become an agent of positive change for their environment, which fills us with excitement. As we settle in and get to know Nazareth, she begins to share a little bit about her life before coming to LMI. We were at that time five kids at home, so my mom got married when I was six years old. At the beginning, it wasn't a really good marriage, but there were some moments that were really hard. Physical violence and psychological violence was there. I remember that we were through a really bad economy situation in, in our family, I was hopeless. Like, I was just trying to find that whatever opportunity was available at that time. It is important to remember that in many ways, Nazareth's journey as a leader in her community has just begun. And even though she's so young, she carries herself with confidence and speaks from her heart. So then a coordinator said, Nazareth, what about you? Would you like to go? And I was kind of like, where? What? And she said, to this place to study. And I said, of course I want to go. And she was like, uh, they will provide you food and um, place to sleep and everything you need for your studies. And I was like, how wonderful. Like, that was literally something new for me. Like, I learned to my family that no one can give you something for free. Like, there is always a cost for something that you receive. So for me was, are you kidding me? Is this opportunity real, as you say? Like, are you telling me that you are going to provide all these things for free just because you believe in someone that you don't know? And it was kind of like crazy, but I wanted to take the risk at that moment. I was kind of like, I really want to do it. I, if this is real, of course I will take it. During the last 10 years, we have tried to build a system based on education that allows young women to begin the journey of personal development that is often difficult to undertake. 92% of our graduates have taken jobs, started a business, or entered university within two years of graduating from LMI. We know that our mission has a positive impact. We have always known it and young people like Nazareth are proof of this. Right now, she's making her own way to achieve her goals. There are many emotions that we have seen that all agree on something, gratitude. Even though their mission is to create a new and um, ethical leadership, I would say that they do more, do more that. than that. because they take the broken women and they give them hope. What I think is like the biggest part they do is believing in, in women that are able to change everything around themselves and that's really powerful. 